My name is Becky Dotson. I'm Christine Katznack. I'm Jerry Malat. My name is Wayne Davis. I'm Kate King. My name's David Bland. I'm Joe Child. I'm one of the intergenerational missioners. Since the project started, it's been a lot of community work, um, working with uh, alongside the community centres on both the estates. There was no toddler groups or anything like that. Um, nothing where they could attend other than messy church and obviously Sundays. What really opened up for us was the sort of the newness of walking around the estates, of sort of finding myself in people's homes and pastorally and spiritually, being able to meet a need. We felt like there was a real need for people to be able to come together and uh, have fellowship with one another. The family services were perhaps the biggest impact that we've made. So we've created a family service in Lugwardine and we did a lot of our services outdoors over the summer and that really helped people to feel safe to come along. Well, the successes we've seen is a huge growth in volunteers' faith in coming alongside um, some of the mums that so desperately needed um, the support. These mums had had children through a lockdown and the children hadn't socialised so a lot of mums were lacking in confidence, really shy and we've just seen the volunteers come alongside the mums and really grow the mums confidence, grow relationship, support the mums in a way which allows it, gives the church a focus on how can they love their communities well, how can they support them and meet them exactly where they're at. We've seen people stepping up in leadership roles not just in the practical sense but also being there not just willing to share their faith at things like Messy Church and the After School Club but actually being part of that discussion about what is it we want to share, what is the important message that we need to be sharing with those around us and that is new, that willingness, that ability, that passion to think through which bits of our faith we should be sharing and then to share it. I think since last summer obviously schools have still been uh, key to what we're doing with reaching out to youngsters and things like that. So we still do a day a week in the high school, still helping out with their testing when we were doing lateral flow testing um, and still working in the college. So I work with Leah Harper in the RE class so we get to do RE lessons together. So that can be talking from anything from some of the real difficult subjects, talking about my faith, talking about my journey and what it looks like. What Wayne does is very varied. Um, he joins us in lessons on a Thursday. He also uh, spends time with the students at lunchtime they now can see somebody living very much with faith in everything they do. And so I think that's really inspirational to a lot of the students. And then there's just general mentoring. So I do general mentoring with sort of young people around school, so boys or girls, if they're going through a difficult time or anything like that, or they need somebody to talk to, chaplaincy with teachers. Yeah, it's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'd like to see chaplaincy at the academy grow from strength to strength. Um, so that young people are hearing the Christian message. The things that are visible are a group of students who are very happy to pray, unabashed about, about praying, about asking for prayer for themselves or for other people. For me, that's the, that's the single most easily visible sign of growth in faith. One of the objectives that I've been set is to help grow two new congregations and so one we've done um, growing out of our toddler work into Diddy Disciples um, to fit across the existing congregation in St Mary's um, and we've also re-established a community around St James's Hall Church. So in Withington we've created a fourth at four service which is an interactive family service. So we've got um, between four and seven families that come to that every month and it's you know much bigger than the existing congregation. In Bartistry Cross, so there's two villages there that I work in and we've actually got a confirmation booked in May and we've got seven children already that have signed up to do that so we're going to be doing some confirmation classes with them and hopefully in a, in a quite fun uh, way and, and hopefully use that group then to, to create a little group of, of young people that we can go forward with. Uh, so we try and regularly run different groups. We're currently on a Lent course at the moment with it being the opportunity of, of Easter. 
we've done Bible studies online, um, we've done the start course, uh, and it's just giving people opportunities to actually want to meet together and, and as we come out of this side of Covid um, we're able to do that more freely um, and have fellowship together and just share in the moments where God meets us, seeing the church grow through prayer and discipleship. So I've always been a little bit on the fence. I've always been involved in the church on and off for years. I was baptised as a child. And then when I came here, I think because I was provided with so much help, comfort, with Becky, with um, all the members of the group of the church, it made me feel like I wanted to come back. So I started coming to actual physical church on the Sunday and started bringing the kids. It started my faith off, I suppose. I, I felt like I, I, was, I belonged and I felt like obviously I was looked after by God and to the extent where I've been on courses and things and now I'm on a course, a starter course to get um, confirmed and that's going to be happening next month. Hopefully as you've watched this film you'll have seen that the legacy of our intergenerational missioners and their ministry over the past four years is one of reaching out to individuals, families and communities with the love of God and creating opportunities for the traditional church and fresh expressions to journey together in creating communities of faith and relationships with the living Jesus. Through the challenges of COVID, we have worked together to strengthen our communities. And now we look forward to the future of intergenerational mission here.